Armin, uh, appreciate your comments on the Sony TC765. Uh, you've mentioned you have two of these machines. That's incredible. Uh, I fell in love with this uh, this Sony. Uh, this is my first time working on one of these uh, 765s, and I was just so impressed with the build quality of this machine uh, and the way that it was engineered. Everything just seemed to fall in place during the uh, restoration and calibrations. A really, really fine piece of equipment. And if you would, sometimes well, I'd like you to share some videos of, of your machines in, in operation. And you also have a two-track machine. I would love to see those guys, uh, uh, those guys in action. So if you would, man, please, please share some videos on those. And you had asked about the uh, the brake linings for the for the uh, brake bands. Initially, I used some uh, felt material, uh, but it wasn't really uh, doing the job. So uh, I used an old canvas bag uh, as a donor. This was my wife's. Uh, someone bleached it and someone's wife wasn't very happy about it. Aesthetically it's not very much to look at but it's a great donor piece of material for uh, making those brake pad, uh, those brake liners for the, uh, for the bands on this Sony TC765. So you want a really rigid piece of, well, not rigid, but a strong piece of, uh, of material. Something that, that won't fray. Uh, any sort of uh, really heavy duty canvas will do the trick. And there's nothing really complicated about doing it. Just a normal pair of scissors and cut out the length that you need. See if I can fit on this one. And then uh, just trim it. Uh, it doesn't have to be exact, exactly the same width as the band. See if it overlaps a little bit, that's, that's fine. Uh, but just trim it back as far as you can with a, a pair of scissors or an exacto knife. <clears throat> uh, that'll be cool too. Uh, yeah, the ones that were on here before, one side had completely worn down. The other one was very brittle. Uh, sort of a pain to remove it. You, know, you have to take the bands off to scrape off all that old uh, goop. But uh, when you have that cleaned off, just lay down a little a bit of uh, adhesive and then lay the, uh, the cut pieces of canvas on top of it and smooth it out as best you can. Uh, and then just install it the same way you, you uh, removed it. And uh, let, me, let me know how it goes, uh, Armin. I'm, I'm, I'm very interested in uh, other people working on these machines. Again, I appreciate your input, man. Take care of yourself.